Hello and welcome to episode 135 of Vokta Gaming. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain, and we are here with another edition of SC Forum Tuesdays. So first up is our villain for today. He is the Blue Protoss. His name is Ultimate. And opposing him is our SC Forum hero for today. Featured on this channel before... He is our Red Terran. His name is Fins. So it is Ultimate versus Fins today on the return of SC Forum Tuesday. Uh, for those of you who don't follow me on Facebook, first up, why? Because my Facebook page is awesome. It's got pictures of me on it. And why would you not want to look at me? But for those of you who don't know, uh, I took a week's break from Voxer Gaming. I've been... Uh, Having a lot of problems at the moment. Uh, I lost a very good friend in wrestling. Um, those of you who already know him uh, will know about it. And I don't want to go into detail on it here. And I started therapy again last Thursday. So now I am back and ready to do some commentary. Uh, by the way, Sunday, very, very nice. I went to Future Shop Wrestling. Had a great time there. Nice seeing some old friends. And then I got on a train and headed to the Manchester Barcraft. Where I spend an awful lot of my time. Uh, it was great fun. It was wonderful watching Thorzane win DreamHack. Oh, yeah. Foreigner winning DreamHack. So happy. Uh, beating Polt in a TVT, no less. Oh, it was exciting. And, of course, DRG finally winning an MLG event. Uh, the past three MLG finals, for those of you who don't follow it, have been Marine King Prime versus Dong Regu. And finally... Finally, DRG actually won it, and holy crap was that close, by the way, guys. Um, seriously, if you haven't yet seen it, go. It is worth paying the money to see that, uh, to get the videos for it. It's only like $15 if you're already an, an MLG member, um, which you all should be, because MLG rocks. And uh, puts out so many good games. But anyway, I am back. By the way, you will notice no Temple Hub intro. No Temple Hub watermark because things are changing. Temple Hub no longer exists as Temple Hub. Um, I will have more information on that in the coming weeks uh, when the CEO gets back to me. But we're going to be doing some new stuff. It's going to be really, really exciting. And I've got a whole slew of new videos coming forward for that. And so far we see getting into this game now. Ultimate currently on one gate, only one gas as well. Getting warp gate out. We're not doing a great deal. Whereas Finns here is expanding. He's going the one racks expand route, which all Terrans ever should be doing on the ladder. Because it's just so good. And it's totally, totally safe. You get this bunker up here and nothing is going to break you. You need to keep an eye on him. You scout his base to see if he's four gating. If he's four gating, you add another couple of racks and like two or three more bunkers. And then you hold it off and then you also win because his four gate did nothing. As it is, bam. See, Zealot's not getting anywhere in there because that bunker's going to stop him. Now, as a Protoss player watching this, you should come up against that bunker and think, right, expand. Like, that is entirely what he's doing. If there is a bunker here, he has expanded over there. And as we see, Ultimate is getting his expansion in return. Still only on one gas. Now going into Robo. One gate Robo on the expand. Um, I'd like to see a second gas come out as soon as possible. Now going to pack up with these Stalkers. Ah, really badly. Okay, what you want to do if you're going to do that, if you're going to try and take a little bit of damage on there, is try and only lose shield damage. The moment this Stalker runs out of shield, you pull him back and allow this Stalker to do the same. As it is, he really just doesn't have enough units to do this right now. Like, there's four Marines in that bunker, and there's three Marines outside of it. So these Stalkers are not doing anything whatsoever. And so long as Finn stays on top of it, they won't chase the Stalkers and then get kited. So, back in the base of Finn's, we have both gas now. We have three racks done. We have an engineering bay on the way, because uh, screw DTs. Also, upgrades are very, very nice. Reactor is done. Tech lab with combat shield is on the way. I'd imagine a second tech lab, I'd imagine, for Stim, uh, rather than waiting for that to finish, but we shall see. He's getting plus one to his infantry weapons now. That's always really nice to get that as soon as possible because those Protoss, those sneaky, sneaky Protoss, 
can totally out upgrade you if you are not careful. So the observer is about to finish on the robo and he's going to go into making more there, uh, going into making immortals now. We see another gateway added, another one here. So three gate robo in an expand, that's pretty much what you want to do. He did it in a strange order, but that's fine. Generally, you get the gates up before the robo. And to be honest, quite often I get the first immortal out before the observer, just because Terran's uh, timing attacks are super, super strong. But he did know, or he should know, that this expansion was up, so uh, this isn't some kind of gimmicky one base all in. This is a slightly larger macro -y game from Finns, possibly a two base timing attack. We shall see. Stim has not yet even been started, though. Whereas we've seen Willie do it now. Yep, there we go. Stim now down. We have a factory on the way. Uh, Doubt will use that for a great deal, using it to get the starport more than anything. And there we go, starport going down, reactor going down on the factory, that's for the starport. So, back in the base of Ultimate, we see a robotics bay going down, he's going to wait for that to finish, it looks like, and then start churning out as many Colossus as he can afford. Uh, a third gas goes down, surprised he hasn't taken a fourth yet. Does send three probes to there, good boy, that's something I actually sometimes forget to do. Sometimes I just send two because I used to be a dirty, dirty Terran player. And uh, in that case, you only have to send two because one is already there. And this observer now is going to sneak in and see everything. Sees the composition of Vince's army. Sees the three racks. Sees the starport with the reactor. And even sees the engineering base. So he knows everything right now. We have a third command center on the way from Finns. That's nice. Notice how the supply, by the way, is really, really even so far. No damage really been done from either side. This is very much, uh, once again, like we often see on SC4 on Tuesdays, the lower player and the European style of kind of macro up in your base and don't attack too much because what if everything dies? Meanwhile, we have some double forge action going on in Ultimate Space because he really needs to catch up on those upgrades. He has no idea how long that engineering bay has been there. And uh, so he does not know exactly what kind of upgrades Finns is on yet. Now, this is your timing with this. Normally, when you first see Venerex come out, you push out, and here we go, we see Finns doing it. This is a really nice timing. He's going to hit, before those upgrades are out, he's only going to have ooh, two Colossus, because that second one will finish. Is he Chrono Boosting it? No. Oh, and has it only just started Extended Thermal Lance? Not Chrono Boosting that either. He has plenty of Chrono Boost, uh, but currently not really using it for anything. Could also be using it on these forges to try and get plus one, plus one out. Now there aren't enough Marauders in this army, I really that's something I can't stress enough. You really want a lot more Marauders than this against this kind of army, because these Colossi now will just absolutely melt this bio. Not a good engagement for Finns whatsoever, but the supply remains even. Oh, if he could snipe a Colossus though, that is huge! Oh, ultimate with the terrible Colossus control, allowed it to get out in front, and it just died, and Finns is going to escape with both these Menorax from the looks of it, uh, the Stalkers might just catch one. We will see. Oh, stimming back in now. Doing some damage. Taking down Stalkers because they were focused down on the Menorax. Lovely. Lovely move there. But Ultimate has now pushed Finns all the way back to his base. But Finns has got a ton more supply coming out now. And Ultimate just turns around and backs off like he needs to do. Now, we have a third base landed for Finns, not yet an orbital or planetary, but we have a third base going now for Ultimate as well, both taking the uh, the natural third to take, having broken the rocks here and here. So, very sound so far, we have a Twilight Council just finishing up for Ultimate, plus one, plus one, and Thermal Lance, all going to finish at about the same time, but Finns getting way ahead in the upgrades now, two engineering bays, plus two, plus two for the infantry, along with plus one ship weapons and concussive shells, for the Marauders, so Finn's really, really banging out those upgrades. Now if we come back into Ultimate Space, um, where's the Twilight Council? The Twilight Council is here. Not yet getting Blink or Charge. Um, depending on what you're going to do, depends on which one of these upgrades you are going to get. If you want to stick with Colossus, which it looks like he does, you want to get Blink, because that will help the Stalkers to defend it. However, if you want to make the tech switch into High Templar, you want to go for Charge for your Zealot, so that you can go into Zealot Archon late game. Now this is nice from Finns, by the way. Where about is he building it? 
Hidden over here is the Ghost Academy. Ghosts, so nice. And we have Charge on the way, notice. So it looks to me like he wants to go down the Templar route in the future. Uh, that pretty soon we will see uh, High Templars coming out, uh, or Templar Archives at least, going down. Charge, of course, not as useful otherwise because there are no siege tanks here. Charge is really good for breaking siege tank lines, except that Terrans never ever make them. And he's going to pick off this forge. Oh, it's upgrading plus two. Plus two armor is not going to finish. Plus two ground weapons is still on the way, though. But plus two infantry weapons is already done for Finns as of this second. Or this second. There we go. Timing things out terribly. And there's the Templar Archives, as predicted. Templar Archives, so, so good against Terrans. You get the High Templar out, you get Storm, you warp them in, they build them up with their energy, you spam a ton of Storms, and then you morph them into Archons to melt the rest of the bio. Now look at this remote moment. We have a sneaky little base over here. Not taking his natural uh, fourth base here, or in fact staging a forward base here. Instead, taking one over here, and ah, Finn's is going to scout it! Oh, come on, Finn's, you're like there! As it is, we have a huge engagement going down, though. Tons of bio being melted by Ultima. Finn's supply is dropping much, much faster than Ultima's is. They are now level, but these Colossi are all dying now to the Vikings. The Stalkers were not focusing down those Vikings quick enough, and all these Colossus will die! No! There it goes. So Ultimate losing all of his Colossi there. This army is definitely not enough now to push up into the main base or expansion of Finns. Finns in fact can now chase him off. Catches the Observer as well. Really nicely done. That's going to hurt Ultimate. He's not going to remake it because he's in the middle of making a Colossus. Now we have plus three weapons on the way for Finns. We have Sonic Storm coming, but no High Templars being warped at the moment. We'll see, uh, has he in fact warped any? I don't believe so. If we check out, that's not the Units tab. This is the Units tab. Okay, he has one High Templar so far. That is uh, not great. He's warping in another one now. And we have plus three Infantry Armor now on the way. Uh, interestingly, Ultimate rebuilt that second forge and has then not used it despite having the money to do so. He is currently not getting that second upgrade, the uh, the plus two, two armor. Instead, using this to get the plus three weapons, as we see here. Adding five more gateways, uh, which is nicely done. We have two more barracks going down. We already have the barracks with the tech lab over here for Marauders. So Finns is really just upping his production. Okay, we now have Blink on the way from the Twilight Castle. Ah, ha, ha, Finns missed this base before, but he's not going to miss it now. Because these probes are going to die. Finns though now trapped in an engagement here. There are Archons. There is a Colossus. The Colossus though goes down super quick. And now all he has to do is kill the Archons. And he has got a super advantage now. All of Ultimate's army here is definitely dead. And now he wants to push up into this base. Take this hidden base down. Here we go. This is super, super dead. We have a bunch of probes hiding over here, hoping that Finns does not move up to check there, but I'm sure he will, because that's the kind of thing you want to do. Meanwhile, Finns again is expanding. Always nice to see. So Finns really taking it down right now. He's going to come up into the main and check to see what's up here. As it is, it's just probes that have been split about. Ah, oh, he's going to go for a drop, but Ultimate will see it now. And actually, thanks to Ultimate seeing it, he stops, drops his units out, and gives up on that. That is pretty much the best thing to do. Now you want to pick a... Uh, I don't know. His units are going to be trapped up in here. I think all of these are pretty much dead. You maybe just want to pick up what you've got, or what you can fit in a medevac. There you go, and just fly it out of there, because there are no stalkers whatsoever. So those do escape. Now we have Ultimate trying to remake a base, this time over here. But damn, look at this. Finn's supply getting out of control. He is streaming units to the center now. Finally, plus two armor is about to finish for Ultimate. He's getting plus one shields as well. Not a great help. We do have a few ghosts in there with EMP. That can do a bit of damage. Of course, the High Templar could feed back those. We do have a few right now with about half energy. So 
could definitely do some real damage here. It could drop a Sonic Storm or a feedback. Good scan there from Finns. Now we have a drop going down at the edge of the main base. There are Zealots being walked in though. Two taking down these units are injured already, so they should all die. Oh, one lift up from the Medivac there, saving the Marauder. Oh, he's going to drop, he's going to start to kill probes. And these Zealots are not responding because Alderman's face is looking elsewhere. He's warping one Zealot in right next to the Marauder to kill him. Here come the rest, and that Marauder dies horribly. Uh, I hope he felt that was worth it. We have plus three armor now on the way for Ultimate, so it's really about to catch up in those upgrades. It will both be 3-3, but we have Finns expanding yet again, dropping even more production structures. I cannot tell you how much I love that. Like, he sees the amount of money he's got. He's already at full supply. There's nothing much more he can do other than drop tons of supply at... Uh, Tons of production buildings so that he can remake his army in the event of losing it. And now we have a huge battle going on here. The Colossus once again dying so quickly. Ultimate just with no units on here come the here come the storms. Oh brilliant storms! So many of them. Really, really hurting these units, but it's not gonna be enough. Vince just had too much in the way of supply. Now he is super hurt though, so he may not want to push out any further. We may see him just going back for this expansion. Unfortunately, it's not there. It has been moved to here. And meanwhile, Ultimate is moving out with some more High Templar with enough energy to storm. Zealots now going to catch these units as they are rallying. They're rallied out to the center, which means they are on move command. Ah, uh, they finally get there and then start attacking, but damn, Ultimate, you could have killed all of those. Not entirely sure where Ultimate stopped attacking. Now here we go, he's going to catch these really hurt units and they stim. Forcing a stim to get away, hurting them even more. And there's only uh, one Medivac, uh, two Medivacs here from the looks of it to heal them. They do have, uh, or one of them at least has a ton of energy, so it will be able to do a great deal of that. And we see Ultimate coming in again, but he only has pure Zealot Archon. He has two High Templars here with enough left to storm. Oh no, bringing his other two up. So he is going to have a lot of storms, and they're going to do tons of damage. The Vikings land now because there are no Colossus for them to fight. Trying to get out of the way of those storms. Oh, so much damage done. And now these will die. Oh, we do not have enough for storms, so that High Templar dies. And Ultimate is forced back yet again. Finn's playing this so, so well. Holding off each and every attack and getting further and further ahead. Look, he's dropped another command center here. That was the one he was building earlier at this location and is turning it into a planetary fortress. So he's keeping up his economy, doing really, really well. And his production, man, is so crazy good. Uh, do we have a buildings tab? I've never actually looked at that. I don't think so. Interested to see what kind of thing he had, uh, what kind of buildings. Just uh, how many barracks does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve barracks right now. Some with reactors on, so he can produce so many units. And look at this, already back up to pretty much full capacity on supply. Getting ship weapons level two now, upgrading the uh, the Viking attack. And look, two more barracks now. Oh, nice storm caught at the bottom of the screen there. And again, we have a huge battle going on, but Finns is definitely walking away from this one. Finns now, with such a huge supply advantage, there really is nothing Ultimate can do about it at this point. He needs to be. He needs to do something drastic. He needs to take a really, really good battle. He needs to land some perfect storms. That was not one of them, I'm afraid. Only getting one kill. On an army that was already retreating. That was not the way to play it. Not one bit. We have one Marauder left here. Uh, the Insta dies. We have a Warp Prism out. That's not going to do a great deal. Unless it's going to start dropping High Templar in the back of a base. There's also the trick where you can pick up High Templar to save them from the Ghost EMPs. Oh, warping in a ton more High Templar. Very, very nice. Uh, Storm and then Archon is the way forward with that. He has got this base up again now that is about to finish. 
Unfortunately, some poor timing means he's going to once again see the probes, so he knows exactly what's going on. Ah, bad luck for Ultimate there. And now, ah, the War Prism dies! Oh, did it still have those High Templar in it? That is such a waste. Ultimate with the oh my god and the GG, but a little happy face, so he's not too sad. GG loses four High Templar straight off. That is the risk of putting them in that War Prism. If you are not paying attention, these Vikings, there's plus two shit weapons were about to finish as well, so there was no chance of that being any use. We had two more command centers going down. Finn's incredible game from him. Played that really, really cleverly, really strongly, never overreached. Incredible games from Finn's. Anyway, that is today done with. Thank you very much for watching SC Forum Tuesdays and Vokta Gaming. I'll be back tomorrow with our regularly scheduled pro games. I've got some fun stuff lined up. So anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all next.